Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Joseph Found here. So today we're going to give a quick stimulus update and we're going to talk about the unemployment. We're going to talk about the future of the stimulus as well as we're going to talk about uh, as far as IRS, what they're doing. They're actually going to initiate payments for those who didn't get $500 for a dependent that might have somehow just, you know, been mistakenly forgotten. So if you're new to this channel, feel free to stick around like and subscribe feel free to leave a comment i talk about money i like to talk about the wisdom around money around investing and learning how you can do well financially from wherever you are so where are we with the stimulus checks well we're currently in the same place we were last week now it does look like they're trying to come together and it looks like there's a possibility that they will, they will be peace building this which is doing you know plans in pieces but one of the biggest discussions that they're having is around um, the U.S. Postal Service. I don't understand why it's a big discussion. It should be fairly simple, but they have disagreements on that. And they're trying to, I guess you can say, meet in the middle in regards to the U.S. Postal Service. So if you're not aware, the U.S. Postal Service, they have been operating in a deficit for some time. And so they need money, especially for things that are coming up for like the election and kind of working on the process with that. And so there's a lot of, you know, back and forth if whether they should get money or not, which is really just a no-brainer. Also, the update with the unemployment. Now, as we know, sign of executive order doesn't necessarily mean that anything's passed right then and there. It has to go through a process and it can be blocked or challenged in court. So what we've seen is that, you know, the president has an executive order for $400 boost, as we stated, it's really only $300. So not all states will be able to do that or all states are even trying to even add an extra $100 in to make that you know extended boost of $400 because not all the states know where they're going to get the money from. And quite many states have already said that they don't know it's possible to even do that. So what does that mean? That means that if that was something to get passed, instead of getting a $400 boost per week, you would get only $300 boost per week. So if you're already collecting unemployment, let's say if you're collecting unemployment and it's like $100, to which $100 is like the threshold that you have to be at, like it's requirement in order to get the boost. So as I say, if you have $100, instead of it being an extra $400, it will end up being an extra $300. So it looked pretty good on paper, like, oh, it's gonna be a boost of 400, and no, it's really just a boost for 300 to which is just very disheartening and it's very disrespectful in my opinion to um, the people who are really really struggling during this time but as of like everything else there's still nothing set in stone no dates or anything um, that's happening except there's a few states where fema has approved you know the 300 dollars um, emergency enhancement to go on to um, unemployment and so for those people in um, those states that you know may be um, underneath that approval that they just passed um, they may start to see something next week I mean but the states can challenge it they can actually not accept it there's just a whole lot of junk it really shouldn't be this difficult but it's a whole lot of junk with this uh, new stimulus plan and and getting people money to people it should be fairly simple and fairly easy and so now the IRS has also released some information that from August the 15th through uh, September 30th now if you're someone who you had a child, you have a child, you had a dependent, and when they gave you the first stimulus check, you did not receive $500 for one of your children or all of your children, then you can actually go to irs.gov under non-filing tool and be able to submit that information. And they're asking you to submit that information by September 30th. And they're hoping to get the payments to people by mid-October. So if you're one of those people, make sure you get to irs.gov right now don't waste time go right now go to irs.gov and go to non-filers too so as far as the next stimulus check it's looking like we might not get another stimulus plan stimulus check um the, you know sometime maybe in september um it looks like congress is trying to get back together uh, but you know with that it's always a process and you know, of course everybody's not trying to just pass that alone they want to have something else tied into it but if they can pass that like within the next coming weeks then you know more than likely you wouldn't see a stimulus check in september so this week is the democrat convention next week is the republican convention and what you're probably going to see which is probably going to be a very hot topic will be 
this stimulus plan, this stimulus bill, getting money to the people, trying to help people who are hurting right now, um, eviction protection, PPP, EIDL, all these different things are probably going to be on the table as far as discussion. So the reality is that it's more than likely that we will get another stimulus check um, because you know each party is trying to use this as a marketing or some type of tool to help towards the election to which many of those that are part of congress are getting ready to you know launch their own campaigns or are already in the middle of launching their own campaigns to be reelected. now i'm not trying to get political but this is something where you also want to pay attention because the election is coming up and if you don't like how people have been handling this then guess what you have an opportunity to vote um, whether it's Democrat or Republican, whoever it is that is, you know, within Congress. And if you feel like they haven't been doing the best that they need to do, then you need to put the pressure on them because it's ridiculous that we could go this long and really that it's kind of being played as like some type of tool, you know, to get back at each other when you have people in between that are literally suffering for real. But with all that, it's almost a no brainer that they're going to try to pass some type of stimulus bill some type of stimulus check so hopefully we don't know maybe in the next coming weeks i could be this week not sure but whenever they do pass it and the president signs it they are saying they're able to start getting deposits to people within one week but currently as of right now there's not a whole lot that's changed except there is some progress kind of moving towards the fact that there may be some negotiations because both parties are starting to feel the pressure from the people and they're looking at from a political stance that they need to get something passed and some stuff done right now which also brings up an interesting point so we also see that kamala harris and joe biden are now running together and so kamala she actually supports the two thousand dollar a month stimulus like uh, that you can get every single month and so that's kind of a pretty hot topic where a lot of people are would love something like that because in other countries, that's exactly what they're doing for them. In other countries, they're getting you know like a, a stimulus stipend like every single month during this time. So if this election goes through and there still haven't been a whole lot of progress around you know the stimulus plan and things like that, having somebody new that comes into office, if they were voted in and they won, it's a good possibility that they might implement some other stimulus plans or try to implement some other stimulus plans. So. Um, we're in an interesting time. Hopefully, something will happen soon to help um, to help people to start to getting some money, getting some protection, especially around um, the eviction process. But not just protecting those from being evicted, but also getting some type of renters, um, you know, stipend or something to those people, so that the way that the person that also owns the property can get paid. I mean, it's a whirlwind, but hopefully we can stop the bleeding or we can get something done ASAP because it's been too long. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Peace.